What's really good, fam? It is your boy, David Brand New. Uh, back with another video for you. Uh. And today we got another banger video, and that is because we have another e bike to review. So it's actually not a bike, it's actually a scooter, a seated scooter. And it's made by a company called High Boy. I've actually reviewed one of their scooters before and I really liked it. So I'm really excited about this one. This is what the scooter looks like inside the box with all the packaging. Looks like it has some pretty big wheels for a scooter. Nice. And this looks like the seat post right here. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box though. This is the long folding stem that it comes with. You guys know that I hate these things, but to be honest with you, with a scooter like this, you kind of need a long stem like this. But before I put this on, I wanted to show you guys something cool. As you guys know, <laughs> I say it in every video that I created this turtleneck stem. This is a quick release stem. It allows you to quickly remove your handlebars. And I like to use it specifically with BMX bars because a lot of times when you switch to BMX bars, you lose that folding capability, right? So I just wanted to show you guys how cool the turtleneck stem is. It can literally fit on like practically any bike, even this scooter. So with this scooter, I'm pretty sure this is a threadless setup, meaning it doesn't have a quill stem. Um, and if that's the case, then the turtleneck stem can definitely fit on this. Even if it did have a quill stem, the turtleneck stem could still work. So once we take this stem off, we should see the steerer tube. This is the top of the steerer tube. So now we can get the turtleneck stem and mount it directly on here. Now that the base is on there, we can slide the BMX bars and the adapter right into it like that, lock it in place. And now we have quick release handlebars, guys. Look how dope that looks. Leave a like on the video if you guys want me to do this in a future video. I'm gonna put on the stock long stem but man, that would actually be a dope little ride. Not gonna lie. is the bike slash scooter fully assembled check it out you see the long stem folds down like that and then the rear basket collapses that's super dope now i'm not gonna lie looks wise i don't know it looks weird as hell it's probably gonna grow on me but um i think we can work with it i think if i remove that seat and that basket i think we might have something it's either that or keep the seat remove the basket and throw on some bmx bars that might be a look too i need to charge up the battery put some air in the tires and then we're gonna um actually take it out for air and we're gonna use that rear rack the bike is fully charged we have the tires fully inflated we're about to load this back rack up with a couple of turtleneck stems i need to drop them off at the ups store Oh my God, this joint got some get up. All right guys, we got the GPS phone out right now. We're going 17 miles per hour, 22 according to the dash, 20 on the phone. We got my guy in the nice chain right there. I see you. Oh yeah. I like your shirt right there, my guy. We're going 22 miles per hour on the dash, but 20 in real life. Come on, man. I hate when they can't calibrate it. Gotta put the leg out for effect. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> this thing is freaking fast as hell. All right, guys, we're about to do this hill climb right here. We do it in every freaking video. We're doing 15 miles per hour uphill. It's super steep and the motor is working really hard. It feels like it's honestly about to blow up. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm gonna let off the gas. Woo, yeah. 
That's the thing with these scooters. You can't help it with your, uh, with your feet. You can't pedal. All right, let's go downhill. See what the top speed is. See if the motor cuts out. Here we go. Oh, it cut out already. <laughs> 22 miles per hour downhill. Let's see if we let go of the gas. <laughs> There's no gas in this vehicle. Let's see if we can go faster though. It's not reading faster, but I feel like we're going faster. I feel like we're going like 25 miles per hour now. Oh yeah. It's just not capable of reading the accurate speed. That's all it is. Oh yeah, we're flying. Look at that. We're going as fast as this freaking car, guys. Oh yeah. We're gonna scoop in right here with the cars, right with the flow of traffic. Oh yeah, on my seated scooter, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh, we could do it. We're in the middle of traffic with it. We could do it, we got the leg out, oh. Yes, we're almost to our destination, which is the UPS store. You know, we're running a business here, guys. I'm sorry that I mentioned the turtleneck stem in every freaking video, but man, business is freaking booming. Here to ship some, some more boxes. Thank you so much. All right, guys, back on the road. I think I want to do a top speed run officially. We're going to take it to the canal. We're also going to do some light off-roading right here. It doesn't have any suspension, but let's see how well it does. Let's see. Oh yeah, not too bad. The style of tires are street tires, I believe. I don't think they have a knobby tread. And why would you even be riding this off-road anyway? <laughs> Unless you're delivering in like the countryside. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I can't wait to see all my friends. Oh, I can't wait to get on the road again. Oh shit, that's kind of bumpy on my high boy i can't wait to ride my high boy oh this is a fun toy <laughs> i can't wait to ride my high boy we're at the designated spot about to perform this top speed run where we should have took amp rides bikes but it's okay first test is going to be throttle only actually that's the only test because this is a scooter it has no pedals you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's see what this top speed is. We're at three miles per hour on the dash. It's reading 17. It's like two miles per hour faster. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can hit that 23. It's cutting out at 22. Come on, give me more. Give me freaking more. 20 miles per hour looks like the top speed. Maybe 21. Okay, we're gonna give it 21. Oh yeah, a little off-roading. Let's go, guys. Woo! I have zero protective gear on, by the way, just the helmet. I didn't feel the need, but maybe we should have. Oh my God. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Let's go. We are moving on this thing now. Oh yeah, tricky still. When you need suspension, all you need to do is just stand up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, so nimble. Look at this. Hmm. Come on. And here we are at the designated hill climb test spot, about to perform this hill test. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Now it does read a couple miles per hour faster, guys. Realistically, we're going 19, maybe 18 miles per hour, and here's where it gets steep. Can you guys hear that motor working? Oh, she's crying for help. She's about to freaking explode, guys. Oh yeah, that's a wrap for her. It's looking like the scooter is not gonna make it up this hill. Let's go back downhill and check out these specs, shall we? So it's rocking some 14 inch rims. It has dual brakes. The front brake is gonna be a drum brake. This is my first time handling a drum brake and it's actually worked pretty good. It's not as good as uh, mechanical or hydraulics, obviously, but because it has dual brakes and this thing isn't like super fast, I think it works just fine. Here's the headlight, it's pretty big. We also have some wiring coming up right here. They tried to clean it up with this wrap. Looks pretty nice. We have a giraffe neck stem, which folds down right here. Now, because it is a scooter, it can be adjusted to go higher, right? So let's see how high it can go. Whoa, whoa, it just came out. <laughs> Don't want to do that. I would say this right here is the highest the handlebars can go. This is probably the minimum insertion point, okay? Like I said, this is an adult scooter, so you can stand up on it if you want. You can completely eliminate this seat right here and basket setup and ride it like a regular scooter. Moving down to the deck, it's pretty wide. 
I have pretty big feet. I wear size 13. Oh yeah. Moving up to the seat, it's pretty cushiony. Your mom's derriere will thank her. Let's move to the rear. It has this rack right here. So as you guys can see, it is collapsible. And then when you unhook it, it opens right up. Woo! So you could take it on a grocery run. You could drop off some turtleneck stems. You know, you could do a lot of things with this rear basket. I don't necessarily like the look of it, but boy, oh boy, is it functional. Currently, they're running a back to school sale. You'll get 5% off if you use the code STUDENT5. It costs $1,045.99. According to the website, it has a 450 watt motor. Top speed is 22 miles per hour. We GPS verified that and we only got 21. Now, I'm not saying I'm a big boy. I weigh 190. I'm sure if I weighed 150, I'd probably be going 22 miles per hour. They also say it has a 10 amp hour battery. Is it a 48 volt or is it a 36? The max range on this scooter is 31 miles. Max load on this scooter is 220. Sorry, big boys. All right, guys, so what are we saying about this scooter? Is it any good or is it not really good? To be honest with you, I think it's actually really good. I like the top speed of it. I think 21 miles per hour is pretty fast for a scooter already. If you can get anything above 20, I think you're doing just fine. I like how big the tires are. It's not like the small tires on a lot of these e-scooters. I do actually like the fact that it has an included seat now. Looks wise, it probably does look crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't show up to my, my daughter's school picking her up on this thing, you know what I mean? But it's functional, you know what I mean? It has a, a rear rack. As you guys saw, I took it to the UPS store, dropped off some packages, so it'll get the job done. It's definitely not a looker. Maybe we'll see how it looks when we take off the seat and the rack. Now, if you live in a hilly place, like San Francisco or wherever they have hills. It's not the best going up hills. Other than that, I mean, if you live in a relatively flat area, I think this is pretty good. So if you guys wanna pick one up, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. That's gonna do it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, all right? Until the next video, deuces. Oh, almost fell. Like that. <laughs>